Hi, this is Mike, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to upload a zip file to your Blackboard site and make it available to your students or to your colleagues. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is a zip file. And I'm working here on a Mac, but the process is similar on a PC. So I'm going to go to my Finder, and I've got this folder that I would like to make into a zip file. So um, all you need to do on the Mac is uh, command click or right click and on the PC you control click and you've got the option um, over here to compress AppCon book. Um, that's the name of my folder and uh, you might have send to zip or something like that but you want to make a zip file. So compress is Mac speak for make into a zip. So I'll click on compress and it will actually turn that entire folder into a zip file. And you can see that zip file is right here. And that zip file is what we're going to use to upload. All right, so I'm in a Blackboard course site here. And let's say I wanted to put the um, information in my files area. In my course management area of my um, control panel, I'll click on Files and I will click on the um, course ID that's going to be that weird title right underneath files after you open up the files area and here's where I can start uploading my zip file so under upload here I will say upload zip package And now I can browse and find that zip file that I made. And I can click on Open and Submit. And depending on how large your file is, it might take a little time. This file, I noticed, is about 37 megs, so it might take a little bit of time. Um, I'll pause the tutorial here, and we'll start once it's been uploaded again. Okay, so once the package has been uploaded, you'll notice that there's going to be a folder um, on your files area, and everything will actually unpack. So I could open that up, and all the files that were inside that original folder should now be there. And now I can make those available in a couple of different ways. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to just create a link on your men menu to this folder. And the way you do that is as follows. So I'll go to, for example, um, the assignments area. And I will go to build content and I will create an item. And I'll call this AppCon book. And now instead of browsing my computer as you would normally do to attach a file, you'll browse the course. And now if I select that folder and click Submit, and then I click Submit again, now that whole folder will be available to users. And that's what the link will look like. And the users will click on the attached files area. But instead of an attached file, as you'll notice, it will be a link to the entire folder structure. And that's the easiest way to make all of your file files available that were in that original folder on your desktop. The only problem is that the names are going to be whatever you named them. So you're going to want to name them something that is going to be recognizable to your readers. The other possibility is to make each individual item available. And you do that in the same way. So if I build content and create an item, and I would say AppCon Chapter 1, then I would browse my course. I would actually go into that folder and I would find chapter one, for example, and submit that, and submit again.
and that would be a direct link just to that file. So now you'll notice I've got the whole book here in a folder, but I've also got chapter one available if I click on that. It should just open up the PDF for you automatically. And that is how you upload a zip file and make the contents available to your readers.